Hi, you're watching Esther from Stampin' Star Creations. I'll be making a card using the stitched nested label dies, the Bird Ballad designer series paper, and the twine and ribbon from the Magnolia, Magnolia Lane Suite, the Leaf Punch, and these colours, Smoky Slate, Old Olive, and Black Memento Ink. I've already gone ahead and put my decorative mask onto a piercing mat and I'll be using the birch stamp with smoky slate. So my idea was to actually make some birch trees and using the ink with the masks and trying to press it on with the block. So I give this a good firm press to try and make sure that the image transfers. And although it was picking up some of the image I decided to take it off the block and just use my fingers and press it through instead. As you can see I'm doing second and third generation stamping just to give it a nice effect and to use up the ink on the stamp. I then go in with a makeup blender brush to add some more colour around the stencils to make sure that the trees will show up once this comes off. And for the great reveal Yes, it worked. I'm so excited. I really like the effect of how this came out and to me it does look like birch trees. So I'm using the bird sitting on the branch and using the black memento ink with the label stitch dye. And then I'm going to go in with my stamping blends with the matching colours, the old olive for the branches and then the smoky slate to colour in the birds. I tend to like to go in with the dark colour first and then use the lighter colour to blend those colours in. So sticking with my colour combinations, just those simple three colours, so the Old Olive, the Smoky Slate and the Very Vanilla. I chopped off the corner of the die because I wanted to it to fit nicely on the left hand side of the card making sure it didn't chop my birds off. Then going in with this matching paper I started tearing this off and just use a little bit piece in the end to add detail to the bottom of the card. I really wanted this card to have lots of layers and different elements to it. Going in with the leaf stamp from the same stamp set, the free as a bird, to add some stamped leaves in the background. Again, just adding depth through stamping images and through layers. I decided to add some splatters just using my blender pen just to create some texture on the background. Then going in with the leaf punch and then getting my tweezers, just twisting the leaves to add some dimension to those. Layering them behind the birds just to help that image pop. Next I'm going in with a sentiment which is from Itty the itty bitty burst itty bitty birthdays <laughs> stamp set and using the single stitched die which comes with the matching uh, stitch label dies and I've created these stitching on the top and the bottom of my sentiment so that it would match the label die that I use for the birds. So I mount that on Smoky Slate and it just helps to draw everything together. And next I'm trying to find a way of incorporating some more ribbon. So I start pulling at the thread and this starts fraying the ribbon. So I thought, oh, I could add a tassel. So pulling just as much as you want and then using that piece of string that I've pulled from the ribbon, wrapping it round, and I end up using this string to tie it off in a knot. This just helps to secure the tassel together. So I stick some uh, stampin' dimensionals on the back. These are just from the edge of the dimensionals, which is great for filling out a big space. 
and I still want to incorporate the twine. So I wrap it around my fingers a few times. I'm laying that onto the back of the dimensionals and I like the fact that it kind of gives it a messy nest look. I decided the card looked a bit dark and it just needed a bit of popping up so I've used some more very vanilla in the back to just create an extra border to the card before it goes on to the smoky slate. So with a lot of background cards if I'm using them underneath I like to cut out the bulk in the middle. This only this not only takes out the bulk of the card but also means that you've got all that card to use for another project. I'm going in again with my blender brush just to create some shading around the edge so you've got the contrast once it goes onto the very vanilla card. And then the fact that the birds were too plain so I go in with the smoky slate and add some splatters to that. Sticking it all down with my trusty multi-purpose liquid glue and then popping it back onto that smoky slate cardstock. I like to add a shadow to the back of the image, it just helps it to really pop. So going in with the blender pen and then not forgetting the little beaks on the birds with the black. And here's the finished result. I was so pleased with the textures and the all the different elements I managed to get into this card. I hope you've enjoyed it too. Please do give me a thumbs up of appreciation. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribing. And if you hit that bell, you can get notifications. Thank you very much.